Hey guys, this is Vril, continuing our Crusader Kings 2 after the end playthrough as King Malfund of Badgerland. So, we've actually been taking a pretty big hit here. Um, since my previous character died, I lost the... Um, to my brother. The, he's the High Chief of Badgerland, the Arl of Calumet. He had this area here, and uh, including this Wabash area, which he's losing against the Duchy of Indianapolis, and I think, let's see, what did it say? The Duke Holgum of Forgotonia. So this guy over here. So, and I don't know if, let's see, I don't have all that many troops to really help him. They've got a stack of 3,000. So I kind of just, just gonna let time start to tick. Um, guess we can create a new so he's, he's given me a call to arms. Probably should take it because otherwise I'm going to get a prestige hit. I'm just not sure what I can really do to help him. Do have money? I do have money. So... I don't have that much money, but... I might be able to help him defend. If he, if he loses this, he is my error, by the way. Um, if he does lose this, he's going to lose Chicago, which is... Pretty important to have for us. Let me move my troops all to the same area. Don't want that guy to go there. I want them all to kind of. Uh, might be able to send boats to get these guys. So I'm going to. Find the cheapest mercenary group. Maybe not the cheapest. That one will work. So yeah, I mean our lands are kind of split because my brother took the badgerling area here. And he's almost losing these wars too, so I think we just need to throw these guys into combat. Maybe what I can do is merge here, and then head to Gary, and let me watch this group here. I think I just need to throw these guys into combat before that 100% takes over, although uh, Holy War for Wabash has ended. So actually, this Forgottonia for Chicagoland is, uh, went down, I think. So down to 53%. Does this guy have much help? Yes, he does. I'll head back over to Looks like it's Death Plains. So there's a rumor in Milwaukee that the local nobles might be corrupt. It's just a rumor, let it be. This is our Chief Casafred that keeps doing that. I think I'm just going to uh, disband these mercenaries. They're gonna, well, yeah, they're gonna end up costing me a ton, so. So now we've got, if you could have done that like two seconds earlier, so we've got our friend, old friend, well, he's not really our friend, but his father was our friend, Chief Mulkrick has declared war, Sheboygan subjugation of Badgerland. Okay, so we'll see what kind of armies he has to help him. Got a 2400 stack. And just make sure that we that we do have everybody that we could have. I mean, our, our brother just has like no army whatsoever and he's 
getting crushed from all sides. So my steward, Mayor Wigert, tells me that his efforts praising my name, so that's good. We'll get some building the zeal, I think is what that is, and he's got armies for Badgerland joining up. So, let's merge these guys in. What I'm going to do is try to help my brother take these back, and then I'll send these guys into Mulcric. So we've got a Wigert of Catholic Uprising has declared Badgerland Catholic Revolt on King Malfund of Badgerland. So things just get worse and worse. Okay. But he is, he is uh, fighting our... Um, yeah, this land couldn't get any smaller for my brother. Yeah, they ended up fighting off uh, Mulcarik's battle there, so... Okay, well, we might be losing this one. So truce is expiring against who? Okay, from Tycoon Laura Lee, the Wicked of Ohio. We can call allies Prince Maxillion of Badgerland. Yeah, let me ask my brother who has no army whatsoever if he can help us. Okay, we can ask my, my wife. She'll probably help us. Of course I will honor my obligation to answer your call to war. And my brother will as well, not that that matters. I think I'll, what I'll do is... See if I can send these guys up to... Kickapoo. Oh, here's another declaration of war. Okay, oligarch Walter uh, III of West Michigan. What does he want? West Michigan or Holy War for Michiana. So this area here. This really, really, really could not get much worse than this. I'm not sure my wife actually has all that much of an army to all actually yeah yeah she does i've decided to institute limited crown authority and the law in the union of michigan since this is crown law and you are a formal elector of michigan you may vote okay so what were they saying limited crown authority I guess we don't even know about crown authority because we are not feudal, so I'll ignore that. They instituted it anyway. I think we'll... I want to take out this Catholic uprising as quick as I can. So your experience in matters of war have increased and there are many things you'll do differently in battle. What will you focus on? Our armies are usually light infantry, so I'll do a focus on the light foot. Okay, well... In this war, at least, the Catholic Revolt, and we'll head down to Des Plaines. A message to offer to join the war? Of course, you can join the war. So, Sheboygan and Forgottonia, Holy War. Let's head around here. This is the West Michigan. I guess they weren't counting on the my allies helping me because we have just been wounded in battle. 
have a pretty good uh, <laughs> record of being wounded in battle so far on this let's play. I think like almost all my characters have been wounded in battle. So, Ison, Slaus, Rostenhauer was captured in battle. He's not the leader of these guys, is now that's Oligarch Walter. Okay. And let's just recapture what they captured. Do have decent prestige now after these wars. So let's. <laughs> Chief Caster of Rockford has given me bizarre and repulsive evidence of Mayor Joseph, so I'm just gonna ignore this guy. Another offer to join war. Sure, why not? Guess we can. Are we already using your army? No, I'm not going to. Request that. Yeah, I'm not going to request that she help us right now because I'll save that for when we're trying to maybe conquer them. How about that? So, yeah, we'll go finish up this and head on over to Des Plains. So, all these wars are at least in the, in the green now. Mayor Esiko told me his ideas. I couldn't really understand what he was talking about, but he was adamant to believe that it would improve the military, so... It does increase the spread rate, so yeah, we'll do that for five gold. Won the Battle of Racine, and head on over to... I think this is uh, the Sheboygans again. Well, I'm thinking here, what, what else? Raise the tribal army, we're not going to do that yet. Your titles are lost on succession, are... Son? Let's check out... He's kind of, uh... <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to nominate my brother. I thought he was... Yeah, he already is my nominator. Better stats, even though he's completely losing everything he has. Send our army down to... So, the Brigatonia Holy War for Otter Chicagoland has ended with a white piece, so that's... That's not too bad. We've also got... Who's Zebediah? Zebediah's host. some... Is that? No, that's not from this Epidias host. This is from Upland. Not sure where are they come from. Is it... Chief Simon. No. They're sieging. Okay, well, we'll see. Chief Simon, let's see, what, what war were you in? It's a revelationist. Okay, well... Not sure why my brother isn't asking me to defend him against this post-war thing. Here, so our uh, West Michigander, Holy War for Michiana. Uh, I can enforce my demands. And we were victorious. So let me talk to my brother here. Offer vassalization. Can I ask him if I can offer to join war maybe? Maybe I can't do that because I'm in the province. Uh, I don't think that's the reason. Here, we'll ignore you. Castle Fred's just like a crazy, um, yeah, I guess if you didn't know in my previous episodes that my spy master, her old friend, is Elusive Shadow, master schemer, but he's also deceitful, so I, 
he has a dishonest nature. He keeps like making up things about people and saying that they're have you know repulsive sexual behavior. But who knows if he's actually telling the truth? So now that we're out of here, defending against Zebediah, Zebediah's host, or Chief Leno also declared war on him. I'm gonna put my army away. Where is this army from? Is this... Oh, okay, there's an attached... Uh, they're attached to my uh, warriors that I had that were from... Well, my steward? Or was it Chancellor that does that? From my steward who was building legend. I think this is guys just like raiding our area. We gain better understanding of mili military manners during the battle. Okay, excellent. So you have spent some time immersed in tomes describing the various cultures surrounding your realm. Though some of what you learned seems suspect, you still obtained a better understanding in how to approach foreigners. Your diplomatic ability improved as a result. Okay. Works for me. So actually we needed to capture this back from... So Gil of the Atomicist Revolt has declared the Badgerland Atomicist Revolt on King Malfin, that's me. Accursed Infidels. So we'll see, there's like a 3000 stack over here. So yeah, I was gonna say we should finish off Malfin, or no, it's not Malfin, I'm Malfin, Leno's Sheboygan subjugation of Badgerland. So yeah, it's like major atomicist revolt here, so we'll should be able to finish this off pretty quickly though. We're kind of lucky because we've got this allied army it seems like. Oh yeah, Superior, helping us out. Yeah, so we're already done with that. The Thomas' Revolt has ended. King Malfin of Badgerland has won. Zepediah. He is a revelationist. Don't know why. I think we just need to go finish off this uh, Leno subjugation thing. Or who is this now? He's uh, has this guy changed? Yes, uh, the guy who was originally at war with us died of natural causes. So it's his son taking over. Looks like. So yeah, we probably need to go siege Sheboygan, and then we'll be able to finish this off. Uh, Ch Army of Chief, Chief Simon is back though. But I'll, I'll try to siege this out until I go after him. Just want to look at. Still have Malfin, Malfinson. We've got Edward Malfinson. So these are my sons. I was thinking, what happens if I? Yeah, so that's not my son. So you have a new heir, if you die, you will take over as Malfin. Malfinson, this guy has pretty bad stats, he's maimed already. 
Um, his daughter was really good, or my his wife was pretty good. I did some good, uh, <laughs> good choice on having them marry, although they haven't had a kid or anything, so that's not good. Um, so yeah, that's my error of all people. Let's, what does Edward do though? He's that club-footed guy, but he's actually, he's got better stats than his brother. Let me look at this here. Yeah, way better. Let me, uh, choose him instead. Edward. He's unmarried. This is asked to ransom a prisoner. Has he been captured? Anyway, um, let's see if I can arrange a marriage. No, it's that's. Let's see, uh, I guess. No, they, <laughs> they won't even do it anyway because uh, my wife uh, controls his fate. So that's fine. You have a new heir if your character dies, and you'll now play as Edward Malfinson. So... I get to attempt to arrest our friend, Chief Casterford, the guy who's been lying to me for many years. He probably... Yeah, he is pretty good marshal, so he raised his flag in rebellion. But it looks like we're out of time for this episode, so like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next.